An ancient Chinese proverb proclaims, to the ruler, the people are heaven. To the people, food is heaven. Which is why people in China go to any length to secure the ingredients for that which is considered the most exquisite of foods. The cuisine that was once reserved for the emperor alone. The heavenly foods. Traditionally, there are four heavenly foods in culinary China, and only an experienced master chef can do each of these dishes justice by delicately releasing the subtle flavors from within. The pricey ingredients needed to create these heavenly foods still make them the food of the privileged, the new emperors of China, the upwardly mobile wealthy consumer, it is this rediscovery of the exquisite tastes of China's heavenly foods that keeps this invaluable serving of culinary history thriving. This is the Feng Tai Vocational Institute in Beijing, China. It is the venue for the first Friends of the World culinary competition. These four men, each a well-known chef in his own right, have the power to make or break careers. They are judges in this competition for up-and-coming professional chefs. At stake, is the title Chef of Beijing. To win this career-boosting accolade, the young chefs will have to prepare a complete meal within the stipulated time. They will be meticulously judged on every aspect of the meal. The creativity and innovation used to prepare each item, its aesthetic presentation, and of course, taste. The competition has attracted about 70 hopefuls who will participate in several categories. While they're given a free hand as to what kind of dishes to make in each category, the young chefs know that to really impress the seasoned judges, there's nothing like creating exciting new variations on the heavenly foods. The judges pay special attention when they come across dishes from this revered cuisine. The four heavenly foods succulent sea cucumber, delicate bird's nest, the richly aromatic shark's fin, and of course, the distinctive abalone. <laughs> 